So um, today, for the last video for 2020, it's a story time regarding a spoon, a certain spoon. Okay, so if y'all know what I'm talking about, so basically I was in my French channel a um, couple of days ago and we were filming a video. I'm just gonna put a footage of the video like that. You can actually see what I'm talking about today. So let's see. The last inanimate object you put inside yourself of another person. A spoon. So as you can see, <laughs> I said spoon, right? So, I can't believe that I'm actually about to tell you what happened with the fucking spoon. This wasn't supposed to happen. I was supposed to take this into my grave, okay? Because I was so freaked out. Whatever. Let's dive in. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay. So, I was talking to this guy, you know? We decided to meet up. So, you know, we were chilling, talking, whatever the usual that you do in somebody's son's house. And then we started kissing, you know, one thing led to another. And then we, you know, we were doing adult activities. Well, not actually, but we were starting to do adult activities, okay? Oh, my Lord, you guys. So while we were doing our activities and he stopped and he said, oh, wait a minute, I have to go get something in the kitchen. So then when he said that, I didn't overthink it. I was like, okay, so maybe he about to go get whipped cream. Maybe he is going to get, um, I don't know, peanut butter, ice, water because he's thirsty. I don't know, you know, something basic as it is. And um, when he came back with the spoon, I didn't actually overthink it again. I was like, okay, so maybe we're trying to order something to eat after or maybe... It's a lucky spoon. I don't know. I didn't even think about the spoon when he actually came back with it. <sighs> my lord. Oh my god. Guys, there's a crazy people in these streets. I didn't know, and now I know, and I'm freaked out. So when we dive in into what we were doing again, basically, after like a couple minutes, he gave me the spoon. So when he gave me the spoon, in my mind, I thought he wanted to spank me with it, you know, you know, get a spicy on, you know what I mean? And then he gave it to me and he looked at me. And then I looked at him and I said, I didn't say anything. I just, he was looking at me. I was looking at him. He was looking at me. I was looking at him. And then I said, what do you want me to do with the spoon? Like, what do you mean to do with that? And then he said, you know, and I said, you know what? And then he said, at least it, well, you know, I laugh because I was stressed because I didn't know what he was talking about. I was nervous. Okay. So I said, okay, I just laughed basically. And then he, he didn't say actually what he wanted me to do with this pool. He just like make movement for me to understand that. Um, he want me to put the spoon all up in his ass. And when I actually caught it, when I actually understood what I had to do with the spoon, I didn't say shit because I was so in shock. In my head, I was like, what the fuck? And what I actually said was, what? And then he said, yeah, just to, he said, just to turn me on, basically. You guys, you guys, he wanted me to put the spoon all up in his ass. That's what he asked me to do. This is the tip of the iceberg. There's more to it. So in order for the spoon to go all up in his ass, it needs to be lubricated. Be lubri lubricated. Lu okay, basically it needs to be wet. Okay, it needs to be, you know, to be able to enter the ass, you know? So, as I said, the spoon needed to be wet in order to go all up in his ass. So, I had to make it wet in order for, for me to put it all up in his ass. The thing is, I have an open mind. So, I don't mind trying new things in bed. And I don't mind trying new things to spice things up. So, when I was done wetting the spoon, lubricating the spoon, I hope I say that well. I had to put it all up in his ass. So that's what I did. I put it in his ass. I thought that once I put it up there, he will be so turned on, it will be a go for us, you know? And I didn't mind doing it because I knew that the G spot for men's it's in their ass. I'm telling you guys the story and I'm not even able to look at 
the camera because I'm so ashamed of what I did. So I'm ashamed, but whatever. Just wait to, wait a minute, two seconds, okay? So he asked me to put the spoon all up in his ass. But the thing is, what in hell make you think that a spoon in your ass is gonna turn you on? Like, what actually happened for you to have this idea? Like, what kind of porn or video are you watching late at night to think that a spoon can be a turn on for you and actually try it? How? Like, why? Like, I have so many questions. How did you actually realize if I put a spoon all up in there, it will be fine. I will be so turned on. It's, this is my shit. As I said, there's crazy folks out there. Don't ask me which way the spoon went. And just for y'all to know, it wasn't a plastic spoon because it keep like going down like that. It keep, you know, flexing, whatever. So, as I said, I put the spoon all up in his ass and then he asked me to go back and forth with it. That's when I freaked out. So when he asked me to go back and forth with the spoon, I was like, what the hell? And I actually said, okay. So I went back and forth, back and forth for like a couple times, couple minutes. I don't know, I didn't count. When he started moaning, when he started to enjoy it, actually enjoy it, it was a big turn off for me. Like, I was so scared. I was so freaked out. I, there's a level of freakness that I can't reach. And that was one of them. I have no explanation. When I think about it, I have no explanation. This is freak at a hundred percent. I didn't know that kind of man, that kind of thing exists. And I had for my money, whatever. So I did go back and forth, back and forth. And then when he started moaning and actually enjoying the fact that, you know, I was going back and forth with it. I was, it was a turn off for me, a big turn off. So I stopped. And I said, oh, I have to go. I did get out of the house without having any sexual intercourse with him. Because after that, I, I'm not turned on at all. I'm turned crazy. I'm turned off. Okay, this is, I'm, a tur I'm turned off. There's no way in hell you're going to put me on after what I just did to you. I actually took all my stuff and went out of the house ASAP. I was sitting in my car thinking about what I just did. I was thinking about what I just freaking did. I was like, oh my god tara you just put a spoon all up someone's son's ass how do you feel i felt shitty i don't have any explanation how you make me feel but i was like oh my lord i was still in shock and i was like what just happened what did i do what the fuck what oh my god oh my god oh my god and the thing is, I actually did it. As I said, I have an open mind. I don't mind trying new things in bed. But this, I never thought that I would put that in my checklist. You guys, the moment I enter my car, he was blocked. This was too freaky for me. This, this was too much for me. You know, it, I can't handle it. I can't. I cannot handle that type of stuff. You guys. Yeah. That's the story behind the spoon. I actually put a spoon all up in his ass when he asked me to do it if you love putting stuff in your ass like spoon fork other grapes whatever that's good for you but for me i can do it for you but for me i won't be turned out after that and after this incident i was done me in these streets was done i was done okay done so yes so this is the story behind the spoon i can't believe i actually did a story time for that i can't believe that I have no words. You you guys actually made me do this. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You can comment down below if you live in any situation like this. And y'all can stop asking me questions about the spoon. Y'all know everything now, okay? I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas. I didn't have the chance to say it before, so I'm doing it now. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I wish you guys a Happy New Year.